was the the MJ's was, and I thought so. I do it was like a mukbang slash mukbang. Is that how you say? It? I don't know. But I've never, I've never actually done like mukbangs before. And I've got my phone here, and I've got a bunch of home baked cookies, which are right here. And I'm going to talk about a few things today because I've never actually done mukbangs before, but I've seen it all over the internet. So I like to jump on into the trend. So let's get started with this. I guess it's not going to be edited, by the way, because I don't think mukbangs are really quite edited because. I think the main point of what bang is like sitting in chat with you guys, so there we go. Like me rubbing my mouth, but now I'm not gonna edit. I'm just gonna sing, but I've got a bunch of cookies right now which I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna chat to you guys about a bunch of stuff because that's what I like doing and so far I'm doing a video today, so and there's that. So I'm gonna look at some tea on my phone and see what's all going on here. So, I've, I've actually come across this comment on Instagram the other day, and I'll just, I'm just going to search on my phone right now. And I literally wrote an Instagram, an Instagram post from like a few days ago because obviously I have a new JTL TV Instagram account now. So, I wanted to promote an Instagram post, but some people had a problem with it because this guy here tagged a person in it. So, it's the second time this chap has come up with a sponsored post. Your diagnosis, please. And then he literally like tagged this person. And, yeah, and I'm trying to find out what's, and it says, a friend, and basically, so yeah, I got like a bit of hate for promoting my Instagram, which, which doesn't bother me, because obviously, the hate is giving me money at the end of the day, but the thing is, so you can't really hate someone for wanting to advertise on a website, if you pay for advertising, I don't, I don't see the problem with advertising, and it really is, as long as you pay for it. Is if you free advertise and think you can just advertise anywhere like on YouTube comments and stuff, which is I have a bummer because they're like literally free advertising. But if you pay money to advertise, I don't, I don't see why you should like have a problem with that. But you yeah. know, and also saying your diagnosis, please like assume I've got like a sort of diagnosis or something is a bit low. So yeah, but that's the thing. Right. So, I'm just getting another thing up, and yeah. Oh well, I'll let you feel like Trisha Page right now, just sitting on, on the floor and having a look down because that's what she does. And so, yeah. And this is my have in the background. This is like a place where I could actually film without like making like a quick and easy thing because. Here's the thing, it's literally Thursday right now and I need to upload a video for Friday and I need to do something that's sort of simple and unedited really so there's what you got for today's video and I'm sorry if it's really boring but yeah. I literally make these cookies by myself, I have a simple like cookie recipe which is really good so I might have to share that with you guys at one point but yeah. I'll have to either make a story on my channel or put it on Instagram or something, I don't know. But. I literally uploaded a load of the video like yesterday or something and it's basically what we actually have on the shelf calling camera. I'm gonna try and like well. So I just literally uploaded this right now yeah, yesterday. And so yeah. And here's another thing as well. I am literally trying to become TikTok famous, like I'm literally on TikTok right now, like, I was all, I've, I've been on TikTok for like a year now, but I've only just started, like, making regular videos on TikTok recently, and so, I thought I was allowed to keep dedicated to it now as well, I've got a notification, and, yeah, I'm gone now, whoa, <laughs> that was like just for you thing, like, oh my god, but, yeah, and, Like literally all these videos I've uploaded like for for a week now, and 
oh, can't do that in a video, or else I'm going to get demonetised, but, yes, yeah, so that's what it looks like, y'all. These mud bags are kind of boring, there's literally nothing to talk about, like, so I thought I'd just read a bunch of YouTube comments, because why not? Because I've got a bit of YouTube comments here, so... And yeah, there's also a lot of video footage on my phone as well. I never usually like turn, I never usually like delete any of the footage, so my phone is actually filled with like all the footage you need to go through and delete after, so that's really good. But I'm going to go for my, for my YouTube comments now because it's usually like a comments video which is like very edited and stuff, but I thought considering why there's nothing to talk about on here, yeah, I'll just go through some comments. I'm literally having a bunch of comments right now, as you may see. And so, yeah. I'm going to check my spam comments. Uh, no comments. Health review. No, but... Yeah, there's literally a comment that says, from you, Mashup, says, nice one. And thank you for that. And there's all these, like, nice comments. Super amazing. Very good. Sub to your turn. Thank you. That's nice. Like, literally, like, all these are things here. There's a bit of hate, though, I'm not going to lie, but... One of the haters is, why do you look at the camera? And then I reply with, because I have to look at my phone to see the picture. And then this person said, in the entire intro, you weren't looking at the camera. I think she was on about when I was reacting to funny knockoff brands, like... So, literally, I had to literally not look at the camera to, like, look at stuff on my phone. Like, the... All the knockoff brands, so that's why I wasn't looking at the camera, to answer your question. But I think it's in the comments video, so I think that's what answered the question. Yeah. <coughs> I'm literally staring at a box of Diary of Kid books right now. So basically, back when I was in like year six, something I was obsessed with Diary of Wimpy Kid. I used to love him, and so I still got all of these books. So. I brought the newest one right now because why not? It's a Dive Wimpkin Wrecking Ball. And yeah. But there's a whole load of books, which is right here. There's some other books as well, but ta da! This, I've got a whole bunch of them. And so I'm going to go through them. First of all, I've got one from Miranda Sings. It looks really good. And I've also got this book which I made like years ago, like three years ago, and basically I was bored, so I made a book. And it's what it looks like, y'all. I might read some of them actually because it's actually really good. Hello, my name is Jamie Callan. I am 13 years old. I have this cavern in Wales, which is mainly what we're going to talk about. That's why I call this book The Carrow Home. <coughs> I love my puns, The Carrow Home. I wrote this book back. I wrote this book when it was the last week of school for some holidays. The day I wrote this book was on a Sunday. Today was no other no Sunday because I have to go to christening and the birthday party combined. We got sent out this invitation and what for go and here, here's the example. And basically it just looks like this right here. And it's published in 2016. So that's good information. It starts at 12 o'clock p.m. and the party started from 1 to 4 p.m. I had to get dressed two and a half hours before. Yesterday we, I love how I just said yes day like, oh my god, yes day love my spelling, but yeah, so yesterday we had to spend all morning looking in all the clothes stores, looking for pants and shoes, but we went inside Millie's Cookies, which is a cookie shop I've seen in England, you've probably heard of it before, but they made the best cookies ever, so don't come at me, looking for, uh, for a tea break. At least everyone knows that you have the best selling cookies around the UK. <laughs> so it was not a bad experience so far, but today, is there anything interesting about this? Right, so this is what happened, this is what room was at the past thing, so I went to this like, party at some like cricket club somewhere, and I decided to write in this book, and here's what I said. At 1 o'clock p.m. Once every, 1 o'clock p.m. What am I doing? It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Grammar. Once everyone was at house, they stood outside and chatted for a while. I just stood in the corner, picking the moss off the bricks. <laughs> oh my god. At least I was honest. Then we all went to the cricket club where the party was held. We walked up to the entrance. 
then we went up this little road. There was no pavements and the grass was fenced off for the lawnmower. Once we crossed the hustle and bustle of cars, we f I love how I just cross out finally. And the end is not, and the well, finally isn't spelled right either. It's F I N. Where does it spell it? Like F I N N. Ali. Went inside the building. There was three floors. On the left, there was stairs going down into the basement where the toilets were. On the next left, there was another set of stairs that led into the function room upstairs. That was where it was. We went up the stairs and the magician came out of nowhere and played music. <laughs> then after a bit he found us some mag magic tricks then we had our buffet. I had plenty of nacho nachos I did not like any other food. Here's another thing I swallowed that you don't know about me. Usually we have, like when there's like buffets going on and stuff, usually we have, like sandwiches and stuff. I hate all the buffet food because for some buffet I love about some buffet then when he sleep. For some weird reason every time all the buffet food just tastes different. <clears throat> I've got flour in my mouth and so I just hate it so much it just tastes different doesn't taste quite nice so I hate buffet food so that's why I never usually eat buffet food so I still haven't really changed from that so that's really good I'm waiting for that so in this box I've got a bunch of diary and big wimpy kid books this had me thinking right now I wonder if should I sell these because like I've so well given to charity because I've like never read any any of these so Oh god I'm literally burping all the all the time. Well I wonder if I should, I should like give them to a charity shop or something because I don't really read them and plus yeah. I have so well given them to a charity shop. I'm really not sure what to do. But here's what it is. And when I looked looked in the left bookshelf and I literally found a nanny book. I remember Angela was like literally rabbing at me to like read a Narnia book, read a Narnia book and I've never actually done it so yeah I've heard of Narnia before obviously but I've never actually read the book so I'm gonna just read him. Okay so it's chapter one, wrong, wrong door. This is a story about something that happened long ago when your grandfather was a child. This is a very important story because it shows how, how all the comings and goings between our own world and land of Narnia first began. In those days, Mr. Sherlock Holmes was... So this is something to do with Sherlock Holmes, I, know, I presume, I'm not sure. We're still living in Baker Street, and the Bastables were... Bastables, is that how you say it? We're looking for a treasure in the Lewis Ham Road. In those days, if you were a boy, you had to wear a stiff Elton collar every day. A bit of gender stereotyping here. And schools were usually nastier than now. But meals were nicer, and as for sweets, I won't tell you how cheap and good they were, because it would only make your mouth water in vain. And in those days, they lived, they lived, in, London, a girl, they lived in London, a girl called Polly Plummer. She lived in one of the long, long row of houses which were all joined together. One morning, she was out in the back garden when a boy scrambled up from the garden next door and put his face over the wall. Nice. But, yeah, these are all my books which I have right now. I'm not going to sell Nani off but I'm going to try and sell Dive Room for Kids ones because I never read them and I could make a bit of money, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if I'm going to sell them or give them to charity yet, I'm not sure. But, yeah. I'm going to put everything back right now and just close this bookcase up. And so be it. Let me find some more things on my phone to discuss about for this mukbang. I need more cookies because... Oh and there's another thing else well, YouTube Rewind is coming up very soon. I, I, I tried a Google search when it's coming out the other day. And it says either the 6th or 7th of December, I'm really not sure, but if it does, I will make a sort of reaction video to it because I remember reacting to it last year and ever since then it became most most like video on YouTube. And so I thought I'll try and react to one this year because I reacted last year, so I'm going to react to this year and see if it's much better. And many people were, think, were like predicting about all the, like, the James Charles vs. Tati situation and to be honest, I've been thinking about this a while. Like, imagine YouTube Rewind is just all the teen, all the drama, all the cancel culture, because that's what basically YouTube was this year. 
Like, just basically cancelling people, all the beauty gurus, like, we've had Jacqueline Hill's lipstick, we've had James Charles versus Tassie Westbrook, we had... We've had kind of all sorts of shit, we've had Jeffree Star, we've had literally all sorts, so... I cannot wait for all this. And it's going to go down really well, I guess. My predictions will be that they're featured in the video at some point, because... Well, you can hear everybody just in the background. But yeah, my prediction is probably going to be all this like, I'm, I can't speak, I'm no good at mukbangs. But yeah, my prediction is probably just going to be like James Charles and Tati and all this like cancel culture and the YouTube rewinds this year, so yeah. It's going to get very interesting. And so, yeah, I think I might end this mukbang right now because there's literally nothing to talk about. This is the most boring mukbang ever. I see all these YouTubers do like mukbangs, like all these like tea and hate and reading comments and stuff. So, I kind of did a mix today. I've read some of my emo books. Yes, the car home is a bit emo, I guess. I'm not sure, but. And I've also read some comments and discussed YouTube rewinds. So, that's kind of a good mix, to be honest. But, I'm going to close the video off right now. And, yeah. Here's another fun fact about me as well. Usually when I eat chocolate chip cookies, I'll usually scoop off this like chocolate chip bit here. And see how our cook's chocolate chip tastes like. That's another interesting part of me that I thought you might want to know about. But if, if, if you have like this video, so if, you, if you like this video, subscribe to channel for the Asian that's for the next video. Because I might do more mukbangs again soon, I'm not sure, but I might do some where I've got some proper tea or something like that because this is the most boring mukbang ever. But yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, which is at Jay's World YouTube, and yeah, I'll go see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.